Are you ready to learn how to create different virtual assistants with ChatGPT? Now, if this is your time on my channel, my name is Dian Lai. I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines named 2XU, and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, you might be thinking, Leanne, you have a virtual assistant agency. Why are you teaching people how to create virtual assistants with ChatGPT. Well, honestly, it's one of the cool ways you can use ChatGPT. So you're freeing yourself up from doing these tasks. And as a bonus, you can teach your actual virtual assistant how to do this, which makes their lives easier. So that's kind of also like the roundabout point of why I'm making this video is that for a lot of people, when it comes to ChatGPT, they're so scared of getting replaced. They're so scared of like, hey, I've just now lost my job. ChatGPT can now do this. And for virtual assistants, a lot of the work that they are doing can be replaced by ChatGPT. And it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. It's a thing to work towards because now their jobs can be so much easier, it can be so much faster and frees them up to be able to work on the other parts of your business. So it's kind of a very much a win-win situation of if you learn this, of how to do this and be able to send this video probably to your virtual assistant, then they would be freed up to again, help you in other parts of your business to keep freeing you up as well. So I have a list of 10 virtual assistants that you can create with ChatGPT. Now, if you guys have never heard of ChatGPT before, if this is your first time seeing a video like this, so this is basically what it looks like as you get in and create your own account. Um, I have already a few types of, you know, from the different videos in this series, different kind of threads, I call them threads in my head, um, or basically different topics or uses that I've used ChatGPT for, and we'll create one for every single kind of virtual assistant you can make with ChatGPT. And if you want to learn more about ChatGPT and using the right prompts, you can check out the rest of the videos in this playlist uh, but basically we focus on get started right off the bat so the first kind of virtual assistant that you can have on chat gpt is an admin virtual assistant now this is typically one of the first types of virtual assistants you've hired it's someone to take over a lot of the admin tasks that need to get done in your business so what i'm going to go over is each prompt that i go through is we'll use the woe method which is basically making sure that you introduce yourself to chat gpt with every thread that you create so the woe method is basically you start with the who of the W of like who you are, who do you serve, what it is that you're doing basically. The O is what outcome are you looking for. A is just a question of are you ready basically making sure that the bot understands what it is you're trying to do. And then the H is how, like how are you expecting them to do this? Is there a preferred way or a format for this? So as an example for the admin virtual assistant, so let me copy and paste the ready uh, prompts that I have on here. So I put in here, I run a Notion templates business and I need you to act as my admin virtual assistant for creating emails, drafting calendar invites, and more. Are you ready? I would need you to be an expert at writing and to be a professional and straight to the point in your responses. So uh, again, that's the woe method of when you're starting a new thread to hit enter on that. And usually it'll say, yep, I'm ready. You know, I'll be able to do that. So then this is now your admin virtual assistant. Anytime that you need help when it comes to responding to emails, when it comes to drafting emails, when it comes to creating calendar invites. So for example, and I've done this so many times in other videos of create an onboarding email for a client who just bought a template. So I'm just using Notion Tempest Business as an example, just because, you know, um, just one of the things that I'm currently working on, but right there is already writing out the onboarding email as if they were your virtual assistant. Um, so it's a pretty cool and straightforward way of just enabling chat GPT to do things for you. And again, I highly encourage that you send this to your virtual assistant so they can also create it in this way for them. Again, making sure that chat GPT works for them so then they're freed up and they can do other things in your business and as you can see ChatGPT already made like notion va for admin so the next type of virtual assistant that we'll create with ChatGPT is a customer service virtual assistant so i have the prompt ready here so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste of uh, again run a code notion templates business i'm introducing myself i need you to act as our customer service assistant for responding to emails and queries by our clients are you ready? I would need you to be informative, empathetic, and solutions focused in your responses. Click enter on that. And again, it will do the typical like, hey, I'm ready to help um, right off the bat. Give me like 
guidelines, give me things or information about your business or your products. So I can give it information of, so I've just added a little bit more information about me and my business. So now I can start putting in, again, asking it to write out a product description just because we've asked it on here, uh, responding to emails and queries. No. So now I can ask it to create, you know, responses to emails and queries by clients you know let's say that i had a copy and paste way to do it but right here it's already creating an faq for my possible customers and that's pretty cool like you don't have to do it it's already like thinking like oh yeah these are the common questions and concerns and how we can answer them so for you you already have now a customer service assistant that anytime you have a message on instagram facebook on email you can throw it on here to chat gpt of hey can you create a really good response on this and since i did say that i would need you to be informative empathetic and solutions focused in your responses it will create responses just like that all right so next kind of assistant that you can have so again it's writing out already the kind of prompts or assistant that you have and the cool thing is you can switch back and forth between the different assistants that you have again depending on what it is that you need again you shouldn't be the one running this your actual virtual assistant should be it's just me walking you guys through of what are the different assistants you can make with chat gpt next is this is a more common type the one that i have been using chat gpt the most about is your content creation virtual assistant now for the scripts that you guys have been seeing the way that i've been using this the scripts that i've had in the last three months have been written by chat gpt and i'll show you how i set it up so first is i would just again copy and paste from the ready templates that i already have of Again, introducing my business and I need you to act as a content creation virtual assistant for creating my content for my business from product descriptions, social media captions, and more. Are you ready? And then I put the description of how I want them to do it or how I want it to do it. So right there it says, yep, understood. I'll be able to do this. And again, it'll do just that. <laughs> That's kind of the cool thing. Is then it will create the product description because again, I asked it I mean, above. I didn't even put, um, hey, can you create the product description for this? It now is just creating the actual product description because again of the beginning prompt that I put on here. Um, so then it says, you know, does this product description resonate with you? Let me know if you need any changes and modifications so then I can give it feedback of this is fantastic. Always be kind to your chat GPT. So it'll just that any additional modifications that I want, anything else that I want them to add into the product description, it'll create that just that and then create a Facebook post promoting this product based on the description above. And again, it'll do just that. It'll create that Facebook post for you right off the bat. So if you are someone who creates a lot of content like myself, ChatGPT can help create the draft for it. I definitely recommend that you look through this before you post it, actually check it, make it your own voice, make it sound and you know, make sense for your business. Don't just post it right off the bat. But it's kind of like, um, and a mentor of mine said this the other day of like, imagine that ChatGPT is your sous chef. You create a lot of the ingredients already, creates a lot of the cake already. And you as a head chef, you're still the one adding the final pieces or ingredients or you know the frosting to the cake. So then it actually, once you actually present it, it's yours. So keep that in mind is no matter what content that ChatGPT creates, make it yours. Next kind of virtual assistant you can have with ChatGPT is a social media virtual assistant. Now, again, this is one a common one that I've used a lot. Uh, it is basically your basically I'll just copy and paste this description so you guys can understand hopefully what it is that I meant. So pasting here. Uh, I need a social media virtual assistant for managing a social media, like responding to comments, creating engagement. Are you ready? Company voice is funny, but informative. So right off the bat, it's already creating um, as acting as your social media manager um, is putting in like putting in the clear social media presence to create engagement, responding to comments, and then being able to do X, Y, and Z. So it's already creating the process of how you can work with it to be able to boost your social media. And the fun thing now is since you've set it up in this way, let's say I put in, so I just made up a uh, comment of like, respond to this Facebook comment of this is such a cool product. I wonder if we can use it for work and not just school. It's already writing out the response for you. You don't have to write it out. You don't, again, make sure that you add your own fluff to it but there you go it's already right written out the response for you for social media whenever you receive comments it's as easy as that and again you can go back again to any of the other vas that you've created with chat gpt uh at any time so then anytime you need help you can just put in the thing that you need help with because again we've set it up already it's easy for it to start giving you the things that you need
The next type of virtual assistant you can have with ChatGPT is a writing virtual assistant. So this is basically specifically if you are a writer or you're a creator yourself, you just need like a second pair of eyes or if you wanted to help you with brainstorming ideas. So again, we click on new chat. I go and copy and paste from the prompts that I have ready. So I put in, I need you to act as my writing virtual assistant in helping me improve my writings by suggesting edits, providing feedback, as well as brainstorming possible writing content. Are you ready? So I hit enter on that. Um, and again, it will just say, yep, ready. And I didn't add an H on here. As you notice, you don't always have to add the how if you don't really need it. Uh, I just need, you know, a writing assistant. I just need someone to look over my work. And for me, I can now start copying and pasting the work that I've done before, put it on here and have ChatGPT either edit it, either remake it, make it make sense for me, make it, you know, funnier, make it more informative. I can ask ChatGPT to do just that. Next type of virtual assistant that you can have with ChatGPT is a sales virtual assistant. So again, going into creating a new chat, I can go ahead and copy and paste this. And it'll just say, uh, I need a sales virtual assistant by writing product information. So I just need that as part of their thing. Answering questions sent by customers and creating templates for responses. Are you ready? Uh, and then again, you can add in the how of like, hey, I need you to be curious, funny, empathetic, whatever description that you want it to be focused on. So then here, I can use this now to go ahead and copy and paste any other sales questions that I might have from customers. I can use it to ask it right off the bat and then create that template for you, the message that you can send to that person once they say, yep, I want to buy one of your products. And again, we'll create that template right off the bat, like faster than most virtual assistants can be just because it already is gathering information from the internet. What are best practices? What are the best ways you can do it? You can ask it to write it in a specific voice even, uh, but right there, it just already made the template that you can then copy and paste, edit it your way, make, add your little fluff, and then make it yours and then sending out to your customer. Another virtual assistant that you can create with ChatGPT is an events virtual assistant. Basically someone who can help organize and strategize your events, whether that's a webinar or a workshop that you're doing. So for example, for me in 2XC, we have two monthly workshops. One is a Beyond Basics monthly workshop for virtual assistants. And the other one is how to get vital with AI for entrepreneurs workshop. So those happen every single month for us. And I've created a lot of the content from there. I've created a lot of everything from the email sequences to the description to how the landing page looks like. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to put it in the link below. But it's just one of the quick and easy ways that I've been able to set up events like that. That would have taken me weeks or just a few days to be able to set up. Again, though, you have to keep in mind that ChatGPT can't actually access your internet, your tools, unless you're using other third-party tools to be able to do that. But for this, it's just us asking basically or creating your events virtual assistant. So um, I need to ask my events virtual assistant to strategize and plan online events, including writing event descriptions, social media posts, email sequences for attendees. Are you ready? Then I've added the how. Um, so then it's creating that. So right there, it'll create that outline. And then can you create social media posts to promote it? Now, uh, it is better if you enter it after it stops generating. So just kind of wait for it to go through and finish after writing that out. Um, but now it's on the closing part. And then you can even add for LinkedIn and Instagram to promote it. And it'll do just that. It'll create already because it, it basically create, wrote out its own draft. You can then grab from that and actually create the posts for you. So. That's kind of how you can create a just a plain events manager, basically, of strategizing. You can ask it to create strategies on how you can promote it. You can ask it to write the email sequences that they'll receive, so on and so forth. And that's up to you and what makes sense for you and your business. And the next type of virtual assistant you can create with ChatGPT is a travel virtual assistant. Now, even though ChatGPT, again, can't look at airlines, can't look at hotels, you can use it for other ways as well when you're traveling. So again, I'm just copying and pasting here. So creating a new chat. So notice again, you can look and easily go through the different assistants that you have just because ChatGPT does give you that option. Or you can also just edit these names as also needed. So put in here, I need you to act as my travel virtual assistant to create itinerary, plan on my trips and details, uh, as well as recommended things to do. Are you ready? And I put on the how, I put, I love visiting museums, going on theme parks, and eating street food. So that's kind of like the how of it, of like when it's planning, I'm just giving it more information about myself. So then again, it's going ahead and creating that. But 
uh, right off the bat, it is writing down the ideal itinerary that I can do um, while I'm in Bulgaria. So that's just an example. But then you can ask it more in detail of like, hey, will be the best places to do this. So as ChatGPT is a little bit frozen in 2021, um, it can only give you recommendations up to that point. When you guys are watching this video, hopefully it's updated beyond more. But it is, again, just creating that itinerary for you that would usually take someone a lot of researching, a lot of going through, a lot of time, just trying to figure out based on your requirements where you want to go. The next type of virtual assistant that you can have with ChatGPT is a fitness virtual assistant and this one actually honestly is a little bit cool so I'm gonna go ahead hit new chat and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy and paste of I need to be my virtual my fitness virtual assistant basically to create a health routine uh, and I added I work 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. daily don't we all wish that we worked that much and I would love to be on keto so then it's going to create that whole process for you um, it's writing out the sample routine already you can ask it questions of like hey what meals would be best for me hey would be a good time for me to do X Y and Z what's a good workout for the day you now have basically a coach a virtual assistant coach for your fitness that you can ask more about this back and forth and again if you were just asking your virtual assistant like hey can you give me a routine you do this research find this i'm trying to go on keto it'll take them a few you know a few hours or a few days to be able to research based on what it is that you know but chat gpt can do it in seconds and now the last kind of virtual assistant that you can create or the last one on this list anyway is a personal development virtual assistant so kind of like how that you have a fitness coach you can basically have a virtual assistant who's your personal development coach so i put on here to i need you to keep me accountable on my goals to develop myself by recommending books courses mentors and creating an actionable plan are you ready so again it'll say yes and we'll start giving you anything that you need so for example i want to be better at time management what's a recommended action plan so then it will start giving you books, courses, recommended mentors, because that's exactly what you asked from it. ChatGPT can only give you the output that you ask for it. If you're not specific enough, it's gonna be very generic. It's gonna give you just the you know surface level things. The more specific that you are, the easier it would be for you to keep using ChatGPT. But yeah, right there off the bat, it's giving you the plan of how you'll be able to do this, how you'll be able to improve your time management skills, and honestly, any other kind of skills that you want created with ChatGPT. Again, there's so many other types of virtual assistants that you can replace with ChatGPT. And if you're a virtual assistant yourself, don't be scared. This is you empowering yourself and finding other ways to make your life easier. And thank your boss who sent this probably. And if you are an entrepreneur yourself or you're the boss, make sure to go through this and you're learning how to do this so you can easily delegate it to someone else. Now, if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what other types of assistants do you think that you would need or you can create with ChatGPT, I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to run a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day and where the small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!